Hey everybody, it's been a couple months since I have did uh, one of these videos. It's a little quiet today, so I thought I'd just uh, talk to myself here a little bit. Um, so what you see on the screen right now is my current layout. It is a little different from I think the last time I showed it back in February. Uh, I did get that third uh, crossover, which I put over here on the left side so I would have uh, the ability to run two trains off the main and then I got one on the right that can run by itself and then obviously the main um, so at the time I can run four trains at once I don't always run four at a time but sometimes I just kinda want to have the engines run through the paces and I can do four at a time um, I got five engines so it's not like it's a massive deal but still it's just sometimes nice to see trains crossing each other you know it's just fun um, I've done a lot of planning for that uh, final layout um, you can see it here um, it's pretty much similar to what I have now um, I do change the position of a few things um, and obviously um, the orange becomes a full second main uh, and again, I do plan on adding buildings, industries um, to these turnouts at some point. You know, I'm, I'm going to get there eventually uh, to add scenery, but I don't feel it's a rush. I think it's a journey that uh, is the enjoyable part, so I'm not in any rush. I'm just having fun right now getting the layout to that. Um, but back to this, I had couple more stages actually planned out uh, basically based because of the cost of track um, I used to use the uh, model train stuff but then they got bought out and shut down uh, they're back now uh, they're well they're they're back ish um, they're still working up to get to full speed but I'm glad that they're back because while they were gone I tried train world and I did not like them um, they were slow to ship slow shipping and their packing was atrocious they used some type of cardboard filler that left a dust on everything it was terrible and they put all my product at the very bottom of the box and then put all this cardboard packing junk on top of it so it provided no protection whatsoever because someone slammed the box down all my stuff was at the bottom would get hit so off of packing I just don't like them so I'm glad um, model train stuff is back um, there's obviously other couple other shops I was going to try um, like that place in Missouri Midwest something uh, there is uh, that place in Chicago Lombard hobbies so there was a couple other places I was gonna check but I did model train stuff a few times quick shipping great packaging never had any problems with them so I'm glad that they're back however I do believe I found a cheaper place where I can get my stuff and if that pans out I can get all my stuff on one order instead of having to do like five orders over a span of time based on the cost I mean I try to you know I try to buy local if I can but then there's some things you just can't buy local um, so then you kind of look at Amazon because of the free shipping but if it's not being sold by Amazon I really notice that the prices have steadily gone up it is it is ridiculous that you know like the turnout extension cords were like three or four dollars at most and now they're they can be double that because the third-party sellers are I, I, as far as I'm concerned they're in cahoots and they're jacking up the price so as far as I understand it the MSRP has not gone up they are just jacking up the prices because they can I'm gonna get on I'm gonna get on my I won't talk about that anymore it just fires me up so um, I'm hoping uh, by the fall time I will be able to purchase all this track that I need and then I'll have this layout going and then this winter well, the you know, the next winter I'll be able to um, start looking at industries, um, 
I would really like a Amtrak station. Uh, somehow, you know, and then like a residential area. So, I got plans. I'll get there in time, but I'm in no rush. Um, so, real quick, uh, when I was testing out this current layout over here, um, there's a lot of wires. Uh, these are actually the feeder tracks because I have them and I needed to use them, and they work just fine. So these wires stick out to to the edge, and then this turnout sticks out to the edge. So pretty much I had two wires coming out, and it made a little, you know, a little hump. I did my best I can to make it as flat as possible, but when I was doing my testing, at, uh, the other track, other engines ran fine except for my atlas and if you remember they had a little issue with their fuel tanks well dang it it started to catch at that spot so i contacted them it only took three or four days for them to have a new fuel tank at my door it was amazing i didn't no i didn't have to jump through any hoops it, i was like i bought it from here this is what's happening and they said that's okay what's your address so I popped on that new fuel tank, which actually clicked. Uh, the one I came with the engine did not click when you put it on. So it didn't really look like there was much difference between the two, but apparently there is. So after that little hiccup, uh, I've had no problems. I uh, really like it, um, the current layout. I did get a new lamp for over here uh, because it would get a little dark over here in this corner. Um, so for my, you know, when every time I took a picture or videos, this area would be always be just a little dark. So, happy about that. You know, the little things. Um, I did want to point out that I did order from Kato um, a few months ago. And it was, I just wanted you to be aware that they don't send email confirmations that, hey, you made an order. Or, hey, your stuff shipped. Only then, only way I can verify that my order was actually submitted was that my credit card got charged. Um, it didn't take long to get my uh, new truck that I ordered, but I just thought it was really weird that they didn't even have an automated system to acknowledge your order. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to put it out there that if you order from Cato, uh, Cato USA, you may not get an email verifying your purchase um, so yeah so overall I got a list of things uh, I want to buy after I get my final ish layout done um, I do need to get a Amtrak I need to get an Amtrak train um, I'm not too hard up on like which color scheme uh, of the engine um, you know, I'll, I'll probably look for used, but they seem to be very um, comp competitive on eBay. So I may bite the bullet and see if I could get like that eight car Kato set that has like four of the silver and four of what they call the rainbow era. So, but yeah, I look forward to that. Um, there are some rolling stock I don't have like auto racks um containers oh i would love to get some container cars uh, some more uh tanker cars would be great too so i haven't been on ebay because i really haven't had the funds but i'm hoping once i get this paid um i can start maybe start browsing ebay again for some killer deals because i got some really great deals on some used rolling stock and you know some of them had a little bit of issues but when you you know when you're paying a dollar for a rolling stock per item uh, I'm fine with that because it allows me to learn um, you know maintenance on trucks and wheels and you know sometimes it's just fun to see what you get um, so yeah that's pretty much it I'm just kind of coasting right now um, as I see how things pan out, uh, this summer, um, yeah, 
that's pretty much just it. Uh, thank you guys for uh, listening. Bye bye.